Letter number 45. 2. Osman ibn Hanaf Ansari, his governor of Basra, when he came to know that the people of that place had invited him to a banquet, and he had attended. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. O Ibn Honaif, I have come to know that a young man of Basra invited you to a feast and you leapt towards it. Foods of different colors were being chosen for you and big bowls were being given to you. I never thought that you would accept the feast of a people who turn out the beggars and invite the rich. Look at the morsels you take, leave out that about which you are in doubt, and take that about which you are sure that it has been secured lawfully. Remember that every follower has a leader whom he follows and from the effulgence of whose knowledge he takes light. Realize that your Imam has contented himself with two shabby pieces of cloth out of the comforts of the world and two loaves for his meal, certainly, you cannot do so but at least support me in piety, exertion, chastity and uprightness, because, by Allah, I have not treasured any gold out of your world nor amassed plentiful wealth nor collected any clothes other than the two shabby sheets. And neither a little piece of this earth, I grabbed nor I took a piece of meal just like the meal of a injured back donkey and definitely this world is in my view is the flimiest, frailest then a bit of galbanum. Of course, all that we had in our possession under this sky was for Dak, but a group of people felt greedy for it and the other party withheld themselves from it. Allah is, after all, the best arbiter. What shall I do? for Dak, or no for Dak, while tomorrow this body is to go into the grave in whose darkness its traces will be destroyed and, even, news of it will disappear? It is a pit that, even if its width is widened or the hands of the digger make it broad and open, the stones and clods of clay will narrow it. And the falling earth will close its aperture. I try to keep myself engaged in piety so that on the day of great fear it will be peaceful and steady in slippery places. If I wished I could have taken the way leading towards worldly pleasures like pure honey, fine wheat and silk clothes but it cannot be that my passions lead me and greed take me to choosing good meals. While in the Hejaz or in Yamama, there may be people who have no hope of getting bread or who do not have a full meal. Shall I lie with a satiated belly while around me there may be hungry bellies and thirsty livers? Or shall I be as the poet has said? It is enough for you to have a disease that you lie with your belly full while around you people may be badly yearning for dried leather. Shall I be content with being called a mere almomanine? the commander of the believers, although I do not share with the people the hardships of the world? Or shall I be an example for them in the distresses of life? I have not been created to keep myself busy in eating good foods like the tired animal, whose only worry is his fodder or like a loose animal whose activity is to swallow. It fills its belly with its feed and forgets the purpose behind it. Shall I be left uncontrolled to pasture freely, or draw the rope of misguidance or roam aimlessly in the paths of bewilderment? I see as if one of you would say that if this is what the son of Abi Talib eats then weakness must have made him unfit to fight his foes and encounter the brave. Remember that the tree of the forest is the best for timber. While green twigs have soft bark, and the wild bushes are very strong for burning and slow in dying off. My relation with the Messenger of Allah is that of one branch with another, or of the forearm with the upper arm. By Allah, if the Arabs join together to fight me I will not run away from them and if I get the opportunity I will hasten to catch them by their necks. I shall surely strive to relieve the earth of this man of perverse mind and uncouth body, till the bits of earth are removed from the grain. Get away from me, O world. Your reign is on your own shoulders as I have released myself from your claws, removed myself of your snares and avoided walking into your slippery places. Where are those whom you have deceived by your jokes?
Where are those communities whom you have enticed with your embellishments? They are all confined to graves and hidden in burial places. By Allah, if you had been a visible personality and a body capable of feeling, I would have awarded you the penalties fixed by Allah because of the people whom you received through desires. And the communities whom you threw into destruction and the rulers whom you consigned to ruin and drove to places of distress after which there is neither going nor returning. Indeed whoever stepped on your slippery place slipped, whoever owed your waves was drowned. And whoever evaded your snares received inward support. He who keeps himself safe from you does not worry even though his affairs may be straightened and the world to him is like a day which is near expiring. Get away from me, for, by Allah, I do not bow before you so that you may humiliate me, nor do I let loose the reins for you so that you may drive me away. I swear by Allah an oath wherein I, except for the will of Allah, shall so train myself that it will feel joyful if it gets one loaf for eating. And be content with only salt to season it. I shall let my eyes empty themselves of tears like the stream whose water has flown away. Should Ali, eat whatever he has and fall asleep like the cattle who fill their stomachs from the pasture land and lie down? Or as the goats, who, graze, eat the green grass and go into their pen, his eyes may die, if he, after long years, follows loose cattle and pasturing animals. Blessed is he who discharges his obligations towards Allah and endures his hardships, allows himself no sleep in the night but when sleep overpowers him lies down on the ground using his hand as a pillow. Along with those who keep their eyes wakeful in fear of the day of judgment, whose bodies are ever awaf from beds, whose lips are humming in remembrance of Allah and whose sins have been erased through their prolonged beseechings for forgiveness. They are the party of Allah, be it known, verily the party of Allah alone shall be the successful ones. Therefore, O, Ibn Honaif, fear Allah and be content with your own loves so that you may escape hell.